All right, I'm gonna give away this stack of cards from the box that I just broke, minus the hit and two other cards. Comment down below, with the sports card market being what it is, comment one of your safest buys. The 1952 Mantle, 2003 Black Refractor LeBron James, or if it's you're like me, a PC person, 2010 DeMarcus Cousins Logo Man Auto. One card, comment down below what you'd buy and I will send one person all these cards from the break. So, here we go. Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Jay here, AK Mojo Sports, coming at you guys with another Road to the National Series. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's series, a lot of people will ask me about what I do with a lot, like the one I bought for $1.56 a card. I have it sitting right here. This is from the San Jose Card Show. What in the world do I do with all these cards? Well, today we're gonna talk about that. I'm also gonna show you guys some memorabilia that I got in, Khabib stuff like this from private autograph signings. I'm gonna talk about memorabilia today and just a variety of just uh, different experiences and stories and you know some of the stuff I still have. For example, Neymar on a soccer ball right here. So we're gonna talk memorabilia, we'll talk sports cards and what I'm doing to prepare for the national. We are less than 50 days away from the national card show in Atlantic City. If you can make it, I will put all the details down below. Try to get a ticket, come out there and we'll have some fun. The National Card Show is one of the best experiences I've ever had. And, I've, and I went last time for the first time in my entire life in Chicago and it was so fun. So here we go, let's get into it. People do ask me like, what do I do with lots? So I bought these all for $1.56 a card. So like, what's the next move? The next move is a lot of this stuff will be actually given away to kids. We'll give these in care packages. Stuff like this, I really don't mind giving away. And then there's other stuff where like, we might just sell it on our website. We'll go on whatnot, you know, live auctions, stuff like this Brady. I wouldn't mind selling it at a dollar an auction. And if you guys are talking from the business perspective, if you are put in the same position as me, even with how the market is uh, the way it is, Tell me you wouldn't take that deal right there. It's a no brainer. It was a great deal. I want to give a huge shout out to JD Trev. Really awesome dude. You know, this kind of stuff's awesome. Some of this stuff I'm going to keep and just hold on to and other other parts of this stuff, like this Demonta Sabonis, that's in the King's PC. Like that's why I like buying lots and, and Card Collector 2 does a lot of this value boxing and all that stuff. You know, there's a reason why you do it. You know, for example, I picked up the $60 lot, Brandon Moreno, Max Verstappen Purple, and there's just some numbered UFC, some varietyed stuff here. And basically, I know what I paid for it, and the next step is to move it and or trade it. You know, I don't own a card store. My dream is to own a card store, correct? Well, this is good practice. I'm always looking for good deals, my margins on what I pay. If I know something's going for 120, I mean, realistically, I would love to pay, you know, 75 to 80 bucks. Obviously, it's not always gonna happen. But if you have a good reputation, this is my advice to anybody that's in the hobby, if you build a successful brand and a good enough reputation you really can facilitate a lot of online and in-person sales with your sports cards and i highly recommend building a brand on instagram easier said than done right i'm the guy sitting here with you know 23,000 whatever and 25,000 whatever it takes time to build that but the thing is is keep a clean rep i would just say make the margins like try to make margins but value the relationships more than the deals you know build long-term relationships early because the person that you might pay full price tag on actually might be the best man at your wedding. He could be in a tech company. He could be a guy you're gonna be sitting with that's gonna sell you bulk lots one day or one day he's gonna sell his collection and he's gonna call you first. Those are the type of things I facilitate. I always value the relationship more than any of these deals. If I don't get a deal done, it's not the end of the world. The whole experience is putting yourself out there. A lot of people in this card community are gonna, if they don't end up in cards, they're gonna be very successful entrepreneurs. I know because a lot of us are very witty, we're passionate and we have the gift of gab. And that's the truth. And, the, and there's, there's gonna be some damn successful people in and outside of cards if there isn't already. So it's really great to see and it's just a healthy community. And I just, I love it. So talk about autographs today. We'll, we'll talk about memorabilia and some cards and kind of what we're doing to prep. You know, today's a pretty low key day. So I'll kind of just play show and tell and have some fun today. So, you know, probably work out, do the usual routine and uh, hang on with my dad, see what he's up to. We're remodeling our house. You know, my, I think my dad wants to sell this house. I guess that means I got to move out of mom's basement. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always make that joke but uh that's the truth i'm excited for my dad and my parents and uh you know i'm gonna help him out and we're gonna see what we can do here um i know the economy is kind of going to eh you know part of the process of me living here is spending time with my dad and getting that experience and you know if any of you have a dad out there spend as much time as you can with them because uh, i'll honor this at 27 years old and i'll look back on this and i will not forget it 
So it doesn't matter if you're 27, 37, 47, spend time with your parents and enjoy it. I'm making it freaking count, man. That's That was what I had on my list this year is to make it count with my mom, my dad, my brother, my niece, and my grandma, my cousins. So that's what we're doing this year. So let's keep it rolling. What would be fun for today is to show you guys some of my favorite autographed jerseys. Do you know why I love these autographed jerseys? I did not buy these from Fanatics. I didn't even buy these on eBay. I met each of the people, each of these jerseys you see signed, I got signed myself in the last five to seven years. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite signed jerseys. So we'll start it off and here we go. So I met Mike Trout at spring training. Mike Trout is one of the nicest guys. Um, I met him at spring training in 2016. He wrote 2J on this and he signed my jersey right there. So that's in a shadow box, which I got from Michaels. That is definitely one of my favorite jerseys. Mike Trout is one of my favorite players and uh, I've met Mike Trout probably 10 times in the last 10 to 15 years, and he's always been nice, and Mike Trout's easily one of the most classy players, and in my opinion, he's one of the best hitters in baseball, so Mike Trout. Next, this one's pretty funny, Travis Kelsey. Crazy story about this. I got this signed a couple years ago, and if, if you can read that, you can read what it says right there, hopefully. I could read it to you, or you could read it to yourselves. Get money, and you know what the rest says on that. So Travis Kelsey. Really nice guy. He said this is like one of like five that he's ever signed like that. And he, he insisted he write that because I said, uh, I was, what was it? Man, I think it was three, four years ago. I was like, yo, man, I need some motivation. Like what, if you could write anything on here because I want you to put my name on it, what would you write? And he's like, I got you, bro. And then he wrote that, so pretty cool. Next up, these are not in any order. This is DeMarcus Cousins game used jersey straight off his back with the date on 4-17-13, my senior year of high school, game worn from the Clippers Kings game. I thought the Kings were gonna be sold to Seattle potentially, so I thought that might be the last game. So DeMarcus found me in the crowd and gave me his game, his jersey. I still need to frame that. I had a frame for it. Unfortunately, it fell down when I was away at college one of my years. I just haven't gotten it reframed. Next up, Aaron Rodgers, one of my favorite players in the NFL. I've always uh, had a good experience meeting him throughout the last couple of years. He's a Northern California kid, so Aaron Rodgers on a jersey. That's really cool right there. Next, this is really cool because he doesn't sign like this and this was his rookie year and he was doing amazing and I actually met him, Donovan Mitchell, and he got I got him to sign 45 on the jersey right there, so kind of unique. I thought, you know, he, was, he wasn't he was a big time player, like a star like how he is, and he was signing, he was so nice. I'm like, hey man, do you think you put your number on this? I think you're gonna be an amazing player and I'm so excited to watch you. And he was so cool that day, his rookie year. So I got to sign that, put a 45 on there. Next, this is pretty cool. I actually met Joel Embiid a couple years ago. He put 2J on there and signed my jersey. So Embiid, that's a that's a cool one. And my favorite one has got to be this. I've kept this since I got it signed. One of my favorite players in the NBA, Stephen Curry, with a full autograph right there. That was from a couple years ago. Pretty cool right there, Steph Curry. And those are some of my favorite jerseys. There's a lot more that I could show. Honorable mentions would be a lot of my Sacramento Kings signed jerseys and uh, Kentucky players. Those are some of my favorites, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Part of my collection that uh, I don't always show or talk about, so I'm home. So I figure if we document it now, you guys get to hear some couple cool things. So uh, I love memorabilia. I've always been about memorabilia. That's how I got started in the industry. It's a big part. I think memorabilia is super sick. Um, whether you're sending to a private autograph signing or you meet the guy before the game, to timestamp it and put it on that, I could tell you each of those members, I could tell you exactly what, like to a T, where I was at and when it happened and, and who was with me in those instances and like whether the player was cool or not. I gotta be honest, this tripod, I like these angles because when I'm trying to hold the camera like a selfie, the tripod kind of messes up. I did something, I broke the rules. I love doing camera, I love recording and creating content for you guys, but man, I opened a box off camera and of course I pulled something sick. It's not like a big priced card, but it's my first autograph of this guy. I, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this happened. A huge shout out to Panini. I picked up a box from them of uh, Clearly. I just gotta tell you, Wait till you see this box. So clearly Donruss, this is I didn't open on camera. I thought to myself, I want a low key night. I'm gonna chill. I'm just gonna open a box off camera. Maybe I'll pull the Trevor Lawrence autograph. And ladies and gentlemen, so we got our base. Let me show you the rookies. So here we go. I'll show you the recap. Quiddy Pay, Amir Marston, Travis Etienne Jr. I think he's gonna be solid next year. Ramon Stevenson, Tom Brady, Jalen Waddle, so I opened this off camera, you guarantee one autograph per box. We're getting there. Mac Jones, Mac Daddy. I like these cards to ask to, I do think with Zion and Jaw Panini, um, they definitely made like a variety of products, so like we never really saw this till then, but it's cool. Anthony Schwartz, 
And then I interviewed this guy who I might do a side PC. Shout out to Ville Grass. We both interviewed this guy and we, he was super chill with us. A shout out to Card Junkie as well. Austin Eckler, numbered. So Austin, you're the man, bro. You're so cool with us. Michael Carter. And then the hit. I cannot believe it. In all the years I've collected, I've never owned this guy's autograph. He was one of the best running backs in the NFL in the last 20, or I don't know, I'm stretching, maybe 10, 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I pulled an Adrian freaking Peterson autograph. Are you kidding me? It's the rookie throwback. Adrian Peterson. I could have bought his autograph. He's like probably like a $50 to $100 autograph, probably less. But man, I pulled it. I was screaming. I wish I recorded it. The one time I don't record, I'm screaming. I'm excited. I felt like a kid. And it's like, oh my gosh, dude. I appreciated the freaking box. It was pretty sick. So uh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to keep the Mac Jones, the Jalen Waddle, and the Brady. I'll give you guys the rest of these. I'm very excited for the national. You know, we're in June. I got the Indiana card show coming up. Then we're gonna go straight to New York. We have a special event there. It's gonna be very interesting. And uh, we have some great stuff planned in the next few weeks here. So I'm very excited because we have the Indiana card show. I'm gonna be in New York. We've got the Dallas card show and various other events coming up. And then we have the national. So we're coming up quick. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to make as many shows as I can. The behind the scenes, we obviously want to check out some card stores this summer. I want to take a trip down to Burbank and do some other events. So I'm very excited to, uh, you know, do all this and then like all this behind the scenes, man. It's, it's been so fun and I hope you guys are enjoying the series, you know. We're trying to do, you know, once or twice a week, if that, and bring you guys some different content. So if you guys can, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell. It really means a lot because it shows you guys support and like the video. Um, that means a lot. I never say it in the mid video, but I'm saying it now. <laughs> little update, these three people, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to collect these prizes. Buck QH, Cho Miller, and the last one is gonna be Top shelf cards, just send an email, mojosportsmarketing at gmail.com so I can ship these out. Other than that, I think we're caught up on prizes. Everybody's stuff was shipped today. And uh, yeah, so let me know. It is now time. We are going to check DMs. Yes, yes, yes. This is like a really cool part of the series. So here's the DMs. I'm going to go to the other folder. DM check. Hey, Jay, love the content. Keep it up. You have the Dustin Johnson. Is it still available? Yes, sir. 500 Dustin Johnson rookie auto. I, sh I said it so weird. I want to say thanks for your support. For your support. There we go. Quick response. Here we go. Hey, Mojo, my name's Dylan. I love your content on YouTube. Watch all your videos. Love what you've done for the kids and the hobby because that was in the same way and important. But, Mojo, I have this DeMarcus Cousins Gold Spectre Gamies patch for you. I want to send it to you if that's okay. Unfortunately, I've never traveled any shows. Whoa, this is cool. Let's see what it is. That's sick, bro. Let's watch this. So people always wonder like if I like a DeMarcus card like this, I'm gonna say let's do a blind trade. This is a this is what we used to do back in the day. Back in the day, this is like non-investment, man. I feel like people miss out on this. This is like the old school way of talking to people with collect in the collecting community. Let's do a blind trade. Tell me who you collect, and then we'll go from there. So here, I'll explain this in a second. This is cool. Blind trades is a very Foreign, foreign, very foreign for people watching this. A lot of people probably watching this video. Blind trade. He knows I like DeMarcus. He has a premium card. He wanted to send it to me, but I say let's do a blind trade. What is a blind trade? If this gentleman collects the Michigan Wolverines, I would look for some of my Michigan Wolverines. If I had a Jawan Howard, uh, Michigan auto, um, you know, Nick Stauskas, stuff like that, I would blind trade him. I would send what I felt was of even value to that DeMarcus Cousins. In a blind trade agreement saying, hey, you send me that DeMarcus, I'm going to hook you up and send you what I feel will be valuable for your PC. If he PC'd the Pacers, I'd, I have a Miles Turner autograph in my room that I'd send to him. You know, that's that's a blind trade. If I can influence and make people happy and, and create content, I want to bring healthy avenues toward this community. So blind trade is something people don't know. If you do know, then that's fine. But if you don't, it's a new concept. And like that's why you got to make community relationships, you know. I'll be real, and I'm a, I'm a freaking, I'm, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. I've fallen victim to the dollar sign, right? Building the brand and the dollar sign is something that it happens. Um, you know, I just know for me, I'm really trying to stick back into my roots of, of being the true collector and 
this is why the behind the scenes is so great. Like, if I didn't film this, you wouldn't even know I'm thinking this. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we're getting really deep here. But the truth is, is, like, I've definitely... And you are lying if you say you haven't fallen victim to the dollar. It happens. You sell stuff to keep stuff. You sell stuff to level up, to buy the next big car. I get it. You think I got that Jackie Robinson and the two Tom Brady's off nothing? Years, year, a year and a half of, of straight up dealing and trading in Dallas leading up to that. Turning the Steph Curry, turning this, turning this into three cards that I really enjoy right now. Two Brady's and a Jackie, amongst other things. It's progress, not perfection, right? That's a rule that I stand by today. So the truth is, is like when I say we're lost in dollar signs, it happens, you know, it happens, but I'm trying to just keep it positive and, and embrace the collector again. And that's why this series is so crucial for the hobby, for, for honestly, if, if, I, if nobody gets anything out of this, if there's one thing I hope you can is I hope you find that love to be the collector. And I'm not telling you how to collect, who you should buy, because when you're a collector, it's, you have a sense of freedom, right? I know plenty of people, unfortunately, I know, some people get in this for the wrong reasons, but the truth is, is find that freedom. All right, and collect what you love. And people are like, oh, everybody says collect what you love. Well, you know what? F who's your favorite team? Yeah, I'm gonna ask you guys questions right now. Who's your favorite team? Did you meet a player? Did they mean something to you? Did Lewis Hamilton, did you see him before the race? Did you see him in Monaco? Did you like Sopranos? Is that why you're picking up James Gandolfini, fans of the game autos? Did you, I mean, what, did it, what does it mean to you? Did Sabrina Ionesco, was she the reason you started watching WNBA? Or was she a beast in the in the college and, and you just liked her? Uh, Serena Williams, did you just love watching her, her passion and grit and off the tennis court? She was just doing amazing things. Like, why did you collect Serena? Why are you collecting these people? That's the truth, right? I could tell you e easily, you know, you guys know I PC DeMarcus Cousins, I PC all these people. There's a reason, it's something in my heart, something in me changes to where I, I get this, like, I feel something toward that player and it's bigger than the card itself. And I, and I want to collect them. It makes me want to collect them. Something about the team too, the Giants, the Raiders, the Kentucky Wildcats, the Kings, Blaze Jordan, you know, he collects. I think it's amazing. And you know, he's a great guy, believer in God. Love that. DeMarcus Cousins, been there since I was a kid, been in my life, was there during the ups and downs, my whole family, you know? Aaron Rodgers, got to be cool with him in the last five to 10 years, seeing him at some golf tournament and just talking with him and telling him, you know, my dad went to Chico State and you know, I was from Northern California and he grew up a Kings fan. I got to talk to him and, and that's why I love Aaron Rodgers. Guys, nice as can be off the field to me. And he plays so well. He inspires someone like me, you know? And that's that, right? Find that freaking thing in you and run with it. Run with it and never look back. And don't ever let anybody tell you how you should be doing that. And that right there, folks, that's the direction we should be going in. So that's the direction I'm going in. You do not have to follow me. I, I never want to tell people what to do. All I can do is make suggestions and share my experience. That's all we're doing here. That's the whole point of the story. That's the whole point of, of this transparency and, and showing you the raw footage is we're creating just a, just a healthy, just content full of stories and building something here. And it's, and it's amazing. And if you're a part of this thing, if you've been a part of it since the beginning, first off, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, much love. People ask me about like my memorabilia, so I'll just show you a quick run through of basketballs. I've shown these before, but nothing crazy, but we'll get through it. Tim Duncan, Elgin Baylor, Adam Silver with the first pick, Jay, Lonzo Ball from UCLA, six days, DeMarcus Cousins rookie graph, Michael Porter Jr. rookie graph, DeMar DeRozan, LaMarcus Aldridge. We got Carl Towns up there. We got DeMarcus rookie graph, and then Jason Tatum rookie graph, which I talked about. And then some baseballs. We talked about those last time. We got some wax in here, just some random stuff. We got boxes, some hobby boxes, more hobby boxes, stuff like that. Bobblehead stuff. We got jerseys and then just more jerseys in there. I met Kid Cudi a couple years ago. I met Drake after a Kings game and I framed that up. It's from a sign. Kendrick Lamar, one of the best ever right there. And then I met Drake during COVID in February. That's when he hinted the album, CLB Soon. We got Luca right here. And we got Brian Cranston, we've shown that. DeMarcus, then that's cool from Slab Frame. Kevin Durant, shown that. Luca, KD, we've got, what else? DeMarcus Cousins debut. This was my high school football coach. Gosh, dude. Rest in peace, Coach Hall. 
he was a good guy. And I don't know, this is why I say you're never alone, man. I think, you know, I wish this guy knew, you know, how many people loved him. Rest in peace, man. Jonathan Taylor right there. We got Iguodala, Tatis, some jerseys that we showed earlier. These are sick. These are the notes you guys send. I have more. I just haven't put them all up. I'm going to find a way to frame all these. But these are just some of the notes of, from people. Some of them have fallen down. But I just, I, I look at these sometimes and it just makes me feel, you know, there's a lot of gratitude behind that. And, you know, for people to send handwritten notes. I mean, if you guys ever send anything to the P.O. Box, I keep all the stuff, man. I put all the cards away, the letters. I try. I keep people's addresses just in case one day when we have time, I'm gonna, you know, really try to pay that forward. So it means a lot. A little bit behind the scenes. A little bit late night tonight. I had two kids message me. You know, I saw their messages. I responded. You know, they. Uh, one of them was eight. The other one's from Indiana. So I packaged up some care packages. I don't always get to do this, but I'm home right now. So like, when the time's convenient, like when I was younger people used to send me care packages and I, and they were 20 30 20 30 years old when i was like 14 15 and uh we used to exchange care packages back and forth because they knew i liked the kings you know it's timeless when i can give back you guys see i mean you guys see it shows man i mean those kids are that's the life of uh you know what we're doing here so um i'm gonna i'm just gonna mail out a couple things i'm gonna send the kid this is that dollar 56 long like just for a kid to own a slab, uh, like Kyle Trask, I guess. I don't know. I'll probably do this. I'm going to give him the Brady. Brady 8.5, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to give him the Brady, a couple packs here, and then some of this stuff, like, dude, I would sell I would sell this stuff on whatnot, and look at this. I'm literally, like, picking out of it just to give stuff away, like Devonta Smith rookies. I'm not going to sell these. I'm just going to give them away. Jalen Waddle rookie, you know, it's like stuff that like a kid could, you know, afford. And I think the hobby's getting more affordable for kids, so it's really great to see. Little kids pack here. We're gonna package these up. Just trying to pay it forward and uh, remember where I came from, and you know, stay small in the uh, big community we have here. So, send out a couple care packages. I'm not recording myself because like, oh, look at me. Like I would do this if I wasn't recording. I just think like with what we're doing. Kind of behind the scenes i actually get to film it and talk about it so and also like i haven't really had a chance i've been more just interacting at shows with a lot of the kids and community because i know not everybody can get to these shows so it's pretty cool i'm actually really happy to do this and uh it's exciting so mailing a couple care packages tonight Hope you all enjoyed the video another road to the national series in the books Really appreciate you guys. I had a great time sharing some of my collection and some of my stories with you. It's been so fun filming the road to the national because I get to film a lot of behind the scenes and you guys get to see a lot of what goes on, whether it's eBay bidding, responding to DMs, organizing our next trip or whatever we're doing. It's really cool and I'm glad we're documenting this. I really appreciate your guys' support. Leave a like, it really means a lot. Comment down below and subscribe and hit that little bell, the subscribe bell thing. I think it works. I've never done talked about it. like this openly, but I've been studying YouTube and apparently it helps me. So if you guys want to help me out, hit that bell, hit subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See you guys for the next video.